everybody. Welcome back. It's Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset. Going to roll up on the plateau. Going to talk to the head coach of the Cookbook Cavaliers, head coach Jimmy Maynard. How you doing tonight, coach? Hey, I'm doing well. How about you, Stork? Doing all right. Doing all right. We tuned in, tried to listen to your game on Friday night against Lebanon and Coach Chuck Gentry and uh, almost came away with a win. Seems like you've grown up a little bit since week one against Upperman Bees. Take it away. Well, we, we definitely played much better. I mean, we played, uh, uh, you know, we had our opportunities. It was a really good high school football game. Could have gone either way. We, uh, you know, we we got off to a little slow start there. They scored a couple in the first quarter and and went up went up a couple of scores, and then we put one in the second quarter and, and cut, cut it 14-7 to seven right before the half and, and – and, Got the second half kickoff and was really doing well offensively. Drove it all the way down to the 30. Uh, ripped off a run for a first down and fumbled the football. Turned it over. Oh, my goodness. And that, and that killed that drive. And we kept battling and playing around. And we, we got it, I guess, into the fourth quarter. And we, we get the ball down. We take it and get it down to the about the six-inch line on fourth down. And, and we can't knock it in. They hold us. Oh, my God. And, uh, well, uh, let, me, let me go back. Let me go back. We tie the game up. I'm sorry. We tie the game up at the start of the fourth quarter, right at the start of the fourth quarter. We tied at 14. And and then they get the ball back, and that little, that little scat back that they got got loose on us on the on the, on the jet sweep, and we missed a couple of tackles, and and uh, and they end up scoring going up 21 to 14. And then we, again, we take it down there, and we get down to the 16th line, and we can't knock it in. Uh, they hold us, and we don't get it on fourth down. And we hold them three downs and get the ball back, and and we get it down, I guess, inside the ten again. And we're having to, we didn't have any timeouts left. I had to waste my timeouts and use my timeouts to to get the ball back. And we're throwing in the end zone to try to tie the game up at the end of the game, and just just we we don't we don't we don't get it. So we end up getting beat twenty one fourteen, but. Uh, you know, a well played game. Uh, Coach Entry's got a good football team. They're, they're, uh, they got some offensive weapons. They got some kids that can flat run, and they did a good job. And it's a good football game. Well, do you feel like your uh, your team is is getting better from week one? Are they starting to come around and and fully understand what it's going to take and the commitment? And you know, I talked to Coach Rice on Sunday, and you know he. He was talking about kids showing up a little bit late to practice and some of the few things. And, you know, he said he had a concern, just certain things that he's seeing out of his bunch and he would like for them to come around a little bit. I mean, uh, how's that going for you? No, I can't complain. Our kids have been great. They've practiced well. They've, they've gotten better. They've made mistakes. Good. Obviously, you know, they've been a lot better. I mean, if not, we that, that game wouldn't have been close because they – they're more talented than we are, and, but we gave ourselves a chance to win. And, and uh, just didn't have enough experience. Season. You just didn't have enough experience to finish the ball game. As well, well, we just we just got to finish plays. We just got to, you know. And, and but you know that's that's part of the game. And when you're inexperienced, especially with nine nine new starters on offense, and we played without we played without the only starting lineman that we had returning. He had. He, he had quarantine. He got quarantined, and the starting tight end didn't get to play. So we, you know, we were a little short-handed even on the offensive side. But you know, we were able to generate 350 yards of offense, and and uh, you know, had 63 snaps, which is a lot of snaps. Uh, but you know, it, it was. Uh, I was proud of our kids. Proud of the effort. They played hard, and and yes, they're they're. I feel like they're getting better, and and, and you know, getting a little more, you know, a little continuity and all things. And, that's that's what we should do. That's that's what we strive for each week to be a little better than we were the previous week. So wrapping it up, you're going to go against White County. This one, the Livingston and the Upperman games, uh, these are kind of special games to you, Coach. And uh, talk a little bit about White County. I think you coached over there a little bit. I started coaching there 42 years ago. Uh, spent 10 years there as, as coach and. Um, a lot of fond memories. My kids went to school there. Uh, you know, got a lot of friends there. And, and of course, we're in close proximity. But it's always a tough ball game when you play White County. White County returns a lot of kids. Coach Frazier's done an exceptional job of getting that program back up to the standards that it should be. And 
you know, they, they, those kids play hard. They, they're big. They're very big. And uh, got a little running back, uh, quarterback slash running back, a Dow kid, Malachi Dow, who put up about 300 yards against us last year. Uh, we had a shootout, a 56-33 to 33 win. And, but we had a hard time stopping him. And, and he's back. And uh, he, he, he's a lot of their offense. We've got to do a good job with that. But it should be when Copeland's part of play, White County, you, you throw the record books out, nothing, you know, because it's, it's a big-time rivalry. It goes back many, many years. and uh, It's a fun rivalry for sure. Coach, we wish you the best of luck Friday night against White County and no show next week, and we will talk to you in two weeks. Okay. Thank Sounds you, Coach. Great. See you, bye. Uh, thanks.